All right, let's find Jeff here. Hey, good morning, Peter. Good morning, Jeff. How you doing? I'm doing well. Hope you are too. Cool. I got there. There we go. Um, well, I am, and I'm getting ready for some rather large celebrations this weekend. Yeah, what's that? Well, you, do you know that uh, Savannah's got the second largest St. Patrick's Day parade of anywhere in the country? Wow. Even even like Chicago, New York? Chicago's or... one. Yeah. Savannah's two. Two. Yeah, and we'll have a celebration down here on Hilton Head as well. Oh, we're going to see lots of green, aren't we? That is what I was thinking. We'll see lots of green. Do you have photos with green in them today? Well, you know, just as you would say that, I was thinking we're coming into springtime. Yeah. Things are starting to green up. So let's look at some marsh views. And uh, we do have yeah, some the green. Yeah, the at. marshes have been like like all golden. All golden and a uh, little bit, bit of red in them. But this time of year, this is uh, at the uh, Oyster Factory. So this is Broad Creek then, right? It's Broad Creek, yeah. Right. And... Uh, it's just, uh, it was a beautiful evening and... You know, this is the best place to kayak, crab, fish. I even see sculling, people scull back there. Yeah, I, I've kayaked a number of times back through there. Well, it's, it's um, they've got these eco tours that go out of like Shelter Cove where yeah. it it's not rough, right? No. It's, it's, it's lovely, flat, and the dolphins come in here, they do their strand feeding, it's just, it's a lovely place to be. There's only one caution, and that is if you get off the main channel and the tide starts to go out, get out of there because you're <laughs> going to be in mud for the next, until the high tide comes. So, so the people you fall off the boat and they're like, just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. All right, well, I, I, that's, that's great. So we're getting the greens back. I miss them. Uh, what else green do you have? Yeah, let's go over here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Let me come back here a little bit. So Calabogie K is that spit of land that uh, looks over the Calabogie Sound, just right. a little up from Harbor Town. Mm -hmm. Now, which side of this is all? Is that? I'm shooting towards. It would be towards the lighthouse, basically. Okay. Um, so I've come down the main lane. Right. And where okay. would the lighthouse be in this picture? I think it's probably right, like, right over back there over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that, that, that area is so secluded and it's got these beautiful views that go out onto the sound and then other sides back to the creek. Yes. That it's like this is your like normal view out of your house. And I if mean, you catch a morning view like this, you get the nice, soft, yeah, more yellow light. So this would probably, is this probably getting later in the summer because as things start to get a little yeah. browner there yeah, in the green? Bit, or yeah. is it is that spring with the stuff, the new stuff coming up here and that's leftover? Uh, I good think, question, right? Good question, and I don't. I'd have to go back and look. I don't know. There's too many pictures. <laughs> Show me one more. All right, this is an interesting one. This is uh, it's got the green of the trees in it, but it was a foggy morning, I love and the I like to try to take some uh, photos in the fog. Well, you know what? If if it didn't have the palm trees in it, somebody might think it was Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fog and the. Cold. And notice we got a bird right out here. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that a coumarin? Or is it? Yeah. Boy, they'll fish that thing out in a minute. <laughs> those are great. So those are those are a little green. You know, when we did that survey, people said they like to see the natural beauty. They, I mean, they love the waves, they love the beaches, they love, you know, the sunsets, but so much of the green natural beauty Charles Frazier was trying to preserve when he built this yeah, whole thing. Absolutely right. That's why they have the rule around the trees and so forth. And, we probably don't spend enough time, and I'm glad we did this morning, on uh, the marshes and the, and the natural beauty we have all around us. All right. we need to do is open our eyes and look once in a while. You forget it because it's you so do. everywhere. You take it for granted. I, you know, I, I've got friends from New Jersey come down. They say Hilton Head's not a beach town in their mind. Right, because right. the Jersey Shore doesn't have these trees. It doesn't have this beautiful foliage and the beautiful, you know, marshes around it and everything being so green. I, it doesn't remind. It's like where's the white sand? Well, that's out on the beach, but yeah. off the beach, it's beautiful. I think, and that's what makes Hilton Head unique. You, you have it all. You have it all basically. Right. And uh, you other places have beautiful beaches and beautiful water, or they have, you know, one of the other things you could do. But here. It's uh, very nice. So I hear now that with all these masks are down, uh, people are back out. Can they come down to the gallery and see these in person? Yes, for sure. Please do. All and right. Now we're open Monday through Friday. All right. And then we can also go Vivid Gallery HHI and pick them up online, right? You can put an that, order in that's online. That's exactly right. And if you need an appointment with me, my number is listed. You can call me and we'll set up a time. Well, that's great. 
I, I can't wait now that spring's coming. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Thank you, Peter. All right, bye. Bye.